Happy Hump Day. We have a lot to dance about today because we are less than 24 hours from the biggest party in Philly. We are counting down to all the fun on July 4th from the big, from the big Wow Wow Welcome America party on the Parkway to the concert and the fireworks that you are going to see live here on NBC10 tomorrow night. But there's plenty happening today, too. So joining us now live in studios is the man who's helping to bring all of the excitement our way, Michael Del Bain, the president and CEO of Welcome Welcome, America. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me, Anya. It's great to yeah, be here. We are so excited for the 4th, but today, July 3rd, is pretty action-packed, too, right? What's happening today? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Day 15 is today of the festival, and July 3rd is, is always a big day for us. Tonight is our salute to service. So tonight we stop and we thank the men and women in uniform who have served our country, our Commonwealth, and our city with our salute to service concert with a headline performance tonight by Leanne Rimes. Wow. So it's going to be incredible down at 7 p.m. on Independence Mall. Leanne Rhymes, that's that's a huge game yeah, for Philly. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> that's going to be exciting, but let's look ahead to tomorrow, July yeah. 4th, because the excitement gets started in the morning, right? That's right, yeah. So we start the day with our annual Celebration of Freedom Ceremony, hosted by Mayor Sherelle L. Parker and City Representative Giselle Jones. That's when we take the opportunity to thank everyday heroes. We give out the Wawa Hero Awards, we give out the Freedom Award, and this year we're going to be giving out Mayor Parker's inaugural One Philly Award. Wow, yeah. that's exciting. And then, of course, it all leads up to the big concert celebration that we are all so excited for and the fireworks show. Talk to us about that. I know I'm going to be there. Our girl Sheila Waka will be there along with Jackie London and Fred Shropshire. We're going to be hosting our show on NBC10. But what's happening on the actual parkway? Yeah, so the gates open at 4 p.m. and we invite folks to come on down. We're going to have entertainment before the concert. The real, con you know, the full concert begins at 7. We've got DJ Diamond Cuts and Snack Time on on the groove stage starting at about 4.30. They're going to get the party started. They're going to get people up and dancing in the streets. And then when the concert starts at 7, we have an incredible lineup. We've got Adam Blackstone, Chill Moody, Ruben Stuttered, Kesha, Neo, and the biggest fireworks show in Philadelphia. Wow. Quite the lineup for <laughs> quite it. the year, right? Yeah. Uh, quickly tell people, what do they need to know before heading out to tomorrow's event for those who want to check it all out in person? Because it's free. Yeah, it is absolutely free and open to everyone. It's 100% family friendly and 100% free. The entrance to the parkway is at 20th in the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. You'll see this big, massive tent with a banner on it that welcomes everyone. All guests will have to go through a security screening. They'll have to walk through magnetometers and get their bags searched a little bit just to make sure that we keep everybody safe. Yeah. But once inside, they're inside the concert footprint. They're free to roam around. They can set up a chair or a blanket. They can bring a little snack or a picnic and just hang out and have fun. Gates open at 4. Concert starts at 7. Wow. You hear that? It is going to be an action-packed day. And there's nothing like safe, free, family fun. And it's all happening in the birthplace of America, the biggest party yet. Michael Delbin, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Philly Live and getting us all pumped up for the big day. That's it. Thanks for having me. Happy July 4th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And hey, we've got a complete schedule of events for you happening around the city leading up to tomorrow's 4th of July celebrations. It's up right now on our website, NBC10.com and the free NBC10 app. There's also a tab on our homepage that includes our full guide to Wawa Welcome America. All right, well, we're going to keep the party going because the rock band Heart, well, they're actually, unfortunately, not keeping their party going. They are postponing uh, the tour as the lead singer undergoes cancer treatment. Ann Wilson says she's recovering after a surgery to remove a cancerous growth. In a message to fans, Wilson says her operation was successful and she feels great, so that's great news. Uh, she's undergoing preventative chemotherapy. She adds, quote, my doctors are instructing me to take the rest of the year away from the stage in order to fully Fully recover. So we wish her all the best in that. Now, this means the band's uh, Royal Flush Tour is on hold, including their August 28th stop at the Great Island Town Fair. Hart shared a message encouraging fans to hang on to their tickets, though, because more details are expected to be announced in the coming weeks. Uh, also, not so good news for Pink either. She's pausing her tour because of a health issue. The Bucks County native didn't specify what that issue is, but in an Instagram post, she